people. Look at them, all them people. Makes you think. Think what? Well, I used to be along of them, and here I am riding about in Rolls Royces. Makes you feel cut off. I'm afraid that's unavoidable, Mrs. T. Yes, well, I hope it doesn't make me lose all my old friends. Because I don't see much of them now, because of all our business. Don't worry, if they're real friends, they'll understand. I hope so. I'm sure. Silly, really. I don't feel no different. But here am I on one side of the window and they're on the other. Ah, oh, that's what money does for you, I suppose. People change. Do they? Some people. Do you think I'll change, Mr. Hunter? You'll be all right, Mrs. T. Sixty-three pound nineteen and eightpence. Why eightpence? Dolly Harker. How come? She was short one week. She's short every week. Oh, Mary Fortin's isn't going to put us in Queer Street. Well, well, what? Check it if you want to. Oh, glad. I don't feel up to it. Oh, you make me laugh, you do. Never a year goes by without you want to check my sums. And now you're coming the prima donna. I don't feel up to it. Oh, she's getting old, poor old duck. Oh, it's the migraine. Migraine? Oh, it's getting worse. I'm sure it is. You know, Lil, I was only saying last night to my Marilyn. Sixty-four be... pound all but four. Is that all right? Agreed. Agreed. Usual arrangements. I think so. I'm agreed to. Oh, there is one thing. What's that? I think I ought to bring it up as chair. Unofficial? Look, any time you want to take over this job, you've only got to say the word. Anyone think I've got nothing else better to do? Shut up. Man, I don't get a penny for it. No, but you get the best seat, though. And the best bed. You've got a sauce. Oh, why don't the two of you belt up? Look, like I said, there is one point I think we ought to throw out to discuss. Well, for God's sake, throw it. Yes, get on with it. If you must know, it's Alice Thursday. I feel exhausted. Been a long day. And it's not finished yet. The last thing I want to do is to dull myself up and go out to some fancy reception. Just an appearance, half an hour at the most. Yes, still I, do, I don't fancy it. No one ever does. No, nope, there's nowhere like your own fireside of a night time. Oh, then there's that thing next weekend. Meeting the Lord Mayor in Birmingham. Can't you get me out of it? You really should go. Important, is it? Yes, it's very important. Oh, well. Well, before I dress for tonight, I think I'll have 40 winks in this chair. That's right, Mrs. T. Devil can't do much with 40 winks. Yeah, I like this chair now. I never thought I would. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Got something on your mind? Yes, I have. Anything I can help with? No, nothing to bother you with, Mr. Hunter. Something I keep trying to remember. Something I feel I've forgotten. Well, I see what you mean. I can't see her wanting to go. I mean, can you honestly see her wanting to go? Oh, I don't know. She's not like that. How do you know? Because I know her. When did she last pass the time of day with you? That's different. Different or not. She's got other things on her plate nowadays. I bet she eats off bone china. Has she paid her subs? Most of them. Well, then, she's not going to chuck up a year's subs now, is she? Oh, come off it, Lil. It's only a drop in the ocean as far as she's concerned. Well, you've got to ask her. Of course you have. If she comes, I'll eat my hat. And yours. Well, I think you're doing Alice an injustice. Look, i got no intention of doing nothing to no one. But there's one thing I have got, and that's a great insight into human nature. And don't we know it? It's the talk of Stepney. There's nothing wrong with Alice. She's a good sort, of course she is. But she's moved out of this street into another world. <laughs> I wish I had. Well, there's a bus stop on the corner, love. Hey, hang on, I'll come with you. <laughs> yeah, how are we going to put it to her? We ask her. We knock on her door and we ask her. Fair enough, but don't be surprised at the answers you'll get. And don't you two go tarting yourselves up to the nines. She's only flesh and blood, same as any of us. <laughs> Flesh and blood, she says. Sally? Oh, is Mr. Hunter down yet? Not yet, Mum, no. Oh, well, look, I think I'll have a little drop of port to perk myself up. There's three ladies waiting to see you. Oh? In the drawing room. A Mrs. Harker, a Mrs. Bassett and a Mrs. Cooper. 
I explained that you were going out. Well, I never. They said they wouldn't take up much of your time, so... Oh, they can take up as much as they like. Oh, yes, just tell Mr. Hunter where I am, will you? There's a good girl. Oh, Sally. Madam. Help me off with this coat. And you might put my diamond brooch out of sight, too. Don't want to go in there looking too dolled up. There. Not that they'd be impressed, anyway. Nearly always. Oh, going somewhere posh, are you? I must say, you look a treat, all the three of you. Well, you don't look so dusty yourself. Oh, I wish I'd known you was coming. We could have had a nice cup of tea and a good old chin wag. But I've got to go out. It's always the same, isn't it? I wouldn't know. Oh, well, another time, eh? Don't think I'm trying to get rid of you. I really would like you to come over sometime and make an evening of it. Will you know where we live, Alice? Mary, if you only knew how I'm run off my feet. My time's not my own these days, you know. Oh, well, we won't keep you there. Oh, don't be so soft, you daft ape. She didn't mean that. You know she didn't. No, as a matter of fact, Duck, we come on business. Business? Yeah, well, you know, sort of business. Oh. Business. Well, come on, Chairman. Unofficial. It was reference to the outing. The outing. Oh, Alice, don't say it like that. She's forgotten. I had. I clean oh. forgot it. Oh. But we always have the outing, Alice, every year we have the outing. I knew there was something. You're not I coming, knew are it. You? I can't. Oh, Alice. No, I want to, but I can't. But you never missed the outing. You used to look forward to it. I made another arrangement. I can't let them down. Oh, oh but you can let us down, though. I'd forgotten it was next weekend. But it's always been the same weekend ever since we had. Yes, but... That's all right, Alice. Don't make excuses. We understand. But you don't. You can't. You won't let me explain. Well, there's nothing more to be said, Alice. No sense in us hanging about here. Come on, you two. Hey, look oh, here. Well, Come on, Neil. Let's go. Oh. Excuse me, ladies. Don't mind us. We're just off. Ta-da, then, Alice. Look after yourself. There's your subs, of course. We'll send back your subs. Not that you'll be in any hurry for that, I shouldn't imagine. Subs. I should have remembered. I should have remembered. I know. Hear no evil. See no evil. Speak no evil. That's right, ducks. Where to lady? Free tins. Here. Tins. While we're out this way, before we go to the flicks, they're doing the Bible in Leicester Square. You'll have to hurry if you want to catch Genesis. Ah, oh, no, I don't feel like ploughing through no epic. What about you, Lil? No, no, not for me. Sorry, Mary. Just a thought. As you were, sunshine. Three turns it is. Hey, Armis. Thank you. Any more fears, please? I'd never have believed it. Didn't I tell you? How could she forget? Because it's not her anymore, that's why. What's two days in Margate to her? She used to enjoy herself rotten. Oh, she might have done once, but not anymore. You mark my words, it's the cost of braver for her now. Hot sun and foreigners. That's right, the river area. I suppose you're right. It's the cost of braver for her and the cost of living for us. What's that got to do with it? It's a joke. Oh, I'm glad you told me. The continent. You wouldn't catch me sprawling about on some foreign beach in two pen of the bikini. That's what they do, you know. Oh, I don't know. No, might be rather nice. Come in and put your feet up. What are you doing in here? I don't want to put my feet up and take yours off my coffee table. Oh, years back I was in, Alice. Takes me back years, this does. Yeah, which one does that remind you of? Maisie Bryant. Her favourite, this was. Do you remember when I first brought her home? The look on her old mum's face. She had a thing about the Irish, didn't she? Couldn't for the life of me find out why. 
Oh, I think it started with that coal man when his cart broke down and he wouldn't shift to Paddy something or other. Yeah, right, mate, sure he was and all. You know, I reckon he fancied our old mum. Oh, Bill. Yes. Of course, you, you'll be you too young to see it, Alice. She was a good-looking woman, our mum. So was little Maisie. You remember that fur coat she had with the, with the big fur collar and the cuffs? And... Yes. I reckon she had a friend oh. in the trade. I've never <laughs> seen a coat like that in all my life. Yeah, I remember the first day she wore it. August bank holiday it was. The sun was melting the tire on the roads and here's my Maisie looking like a queen in a big fur collar. <laughs> we caught the tram up the chalk farm, had a bit of a nosh. Then we had a stroll up the eve. And then when night time come, we went over to Collins' music hall. And he used to have some good turns in them days, Alice. Do you remember that fellow that used to come down the street every Friday night, breaking all the blooming windows? <laughs> Blind drunk with two coppers in tow, yeah. yeah. We used to jump out of bed and dive straight under the table. All six of us, every Friday night. <laughs> yeah. They reckon he was as good as gold in the daylight, too. We had a bit of fun, Bill. Yeah, same was the days all right, Alice. Yeah. Funny what a bit of baker life brings back to your mind, innit? it? Well, we've come a long way, Bill. Yes, we have, love. In more ways than one. Oh, yeah, you look tired, Ad. Oh, I'll be all right after a good night's sleep. You're not worried about nothing, are you? First, Mr. Hunter, now you. Yes, I have got something on my mind. I've made a mistake, Bill. A terrible mistake. Next weekend's the Fuller Street outing. Cool, the old Sheridan Market, ladies only. Oh, what a caper. <sighs> We've had that outing ever since the war. And when anyone was feeling low, we used to say, cheer up, girl, only another few weeks to the outing. <laughs> oh, I did look forward to it. And I forgot it. This year, I forgot it, Bill. Well, I should think so at all with what you've got on your mind, love. No, the girls come to see me about it, and I had to tell them no. Because of all this Birmingham business, you see. You should have seen the look on their faces. Well, they understand, Alice. No, Bill, they didn't. And I don't blame them, really. I should have said yes. I should have broken my engagement and gone. Business is business, I know. Keep dinning it into my ears. But there's other things besides business. Alice, you do just what it says here, love. You're right. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> ah, I'm glad you've come back. Oh, yes? Uh, I'm not going. Uh, th that next week in Birmingham, do. What? No, that do. I'm not going. Why? Well, because I'm not. That's why. Can't we discuss it? No. See, I'm tired and I'm going to bed because I've got a very early engagement in the morning. Since when? Since five minutes ago, Mr. Hunter. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Thursday. What have you been up to? Well, I'm damned. Morning. Oh, you're up early, aren't you, Alice? I wanted to catch you. Well, can you spare a minute? It's your time. All we do is work here. Oh, well, lay off and listen. What else? Well, it's about the outing. Well? I want to come. Well, you're too late. The coach is full. We got rid of your seat. No, you can't, Ed. Well, why can't we? We asked you if you wanted to come and you said you didn't. What are we supposed to do? Go down on hands and knees or something? The coach is full and that's an end to it. You'd already made up your mind, hadn't you? Lily was quite right. If you didn't want the seat, there's plenty of other people as do. I believe you wouldn't have liked it if I'd said yes straight off. If you don't mind, some of us has to work here. You're as bad as that lot in the boardroom. No, you're worse. You're worse because you're jealous. Don't you come that iron righteous stuff with me, Alice Thursday. I'll come it with who I like. It's you what's changed, not me. Oh, well, as far as I'm concerned, you can lump your rotten holiday. <laughs> Leave her be. Well, I'd say a most successful meeting. Don't you agree? We seem to have got what we wanted. You were in splendid form, Mrs. T. Was I? Seizing the bull by the horns, wasn't in it? And I suppose I was a bit strong. A solo performance par excellence. Uh, they were in the wrong, weren't they? They were, indeed. Yes, I've been dying to have a go at someone all day. 
Yes, I've noticed that. I've been meaning to ask why. No, you needn't. I've been upset. I've got a right to be upset. I mean, even with money, you can get upset. Not that they'd think so. They? Oh, well, never mind now. But I'm still angry, so you be careful, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> I shall have her on the fringes, is my word. I hate losing my temper. Ah, to lose one's temper is to lose one's soul. Another of my father's little pearls. <laughs> he seems to have had one for everything. He created a design for living from which I've never fully recovered. And don't you tell me blood's thicker than water. Still, he was your father. He packed me off to boarding school as soon as he could. Seven, I was. Even to my own knowledge, a particularly meagre child. Anyway, I was completely ill-equipped for the horrors of communal infighting. My father never talked to me, just at me from a great height. So I hardly had a chance to protest. The day I left for that wretched establishment, he chose to be away on business. But there was an envelope on my plate at breakfast. My spirits rose. What he couldn't say, perhaps he would write. That envelope contained a five pound note. No letter, not one word. I carried that five pound note around with me for years. <laughs> one day on a sardonic little whim, I decided to lose it all on a rank outsider called Schoolboy's Hero. It led all the way at 20 to one. My father not been dead by this time. He died, naturally enough, fighting for king and country. I'd have shaken his hand. Did you get me out of that do next weekend? Yes. Well, you can get me in again. I've changed my mind. You are sure? Positive. Let that. Everything's hunky dory. Except Ali. Oh, don't start all that all over again, Lil. Well, I think we ought to send her subs back. If we're nothing else, we're on it. I'll bang it in a registered envelope. Oh, I'd rather we didn't. What else can we do? Well, I think we should bang them to her, you know, by hand. What? Oh, no, wait a minute, Glad. She was upset. If we bang them in an envelope, it'd look awful. I mean, we might as well be civil. If we're not, we're just letting ourselves down. And I said to her, I said, Oh, how well, can you be so heartless, I said. Haven't you upset her enough, I said. A registered envelope, how oh, unhuman can you get? Well, very nice of you, I suppose. Oh, you know what that lad's like. I'm not one to talk, but you know, she got very hard when they brought back them prescription charges. Mind you, her husband's a chronic sufferer. It's enough to warp anyone. Well, I suppose I might as well be going. I mustn't consume too much of your time. Oh, I'd soon tell you if you were. <laughs> yes, you would, wouldn't you, Alice? You would. You was always the same, ever so direct, ever the same. <laughs> what are you so nervous about, Lil? Nervous? Oh, well, I suppose I'm a bit nervous, you know, being in a big place like this and all. Oh, well, never mind the place. It's me you're talking to. Well, you see, Alice, I thought they'd upset you. Oh, you upset me all right. There's nothing hurts more than when old friends turn their backs on you. I thought at least you'd understand. Oh, I do, Alice, I do. I mean, why else would I be here? No, I suppose so. Going somewhere nice next weekend, are you? Nice? Well, I, I thought you might be going somewhere nice, not be able to make the outing and everything. It's business. Oh, and I thought you might be taking a little holiday. No. Abroad or somewhere. I could do with holiday. I never thought to hear myself say so, but I could. Well, then why don't you have one? No, I will, I will later. Why not next weekend? I can't. Well, just two days? No, I can't. Oh, well, Alice, people in your position, they're always nipping off for the weekend. You can afford it, why don't you? Well, go abroad for a weekend. Well, you'd have gone to Margate. Oh, that's different. No, it isn't. Not for you, not now. The time it'd take that old Shara to get to Margate, you could be in the south of France. Go on. Mm, by jet. I've seen it on the adverts. Well, I could do with a drop of sunshine. Well, there you are, then. How oh, I could get it in Margate. Oh, well, it's, it's rained every blessed time we've been. Well, it's due for a change, then, isn't it? But on the continent, you're guaranteed of good weather. Couldn't. Now, why not? They turn their nose up at you because they think you think Margaret ain't good enough. Well, you show them that they're right. But it is good enough. Now, listen, who started this? You or them? Well, they did. Well, there you are, then. I suppose you're right. Of course I'm right. I mean, I can't help having a few bob. Why should I be ashamed of it? Don't you suppose that Gladys would enjoy herself? Look what happened when her old man come up on the pools. Eighty quid! 
And she blew the lot on a cocktail cabinet and the size of it. And you can't get it in that room and they never use it. So she didn't enjoy it much. Ah, oh, but it's a matter of principle, Alice. You'd like her holiday. You need a holiday. You know, a bit of sunshine and who knows what else. All right, then have it. Oh, well, I think you're right. I could go to Hastings. I hear it's nice. No, well, it's not Hastings. Abroad somewhere. I could never manage it. You went to Canada? Ah, oh, yes, but they're like us. I mean, you can't call them foreigners. Well, I know what I do. You fancy it, do you? Fancy it? <laughs> I give me... Yes, might be rather nice. But everyone's so busy and I can't see myself going off on my own. Well, it's a funny thing that you should say that, Alice. Hello, Claire. Please, Bill. Don't talk to me about that, madam. She don't. Give up her seat, that's what she done. On the shadow. On the shadow. All of a sudden, she's not coming to the house. In. Go on. Much more of this, and all that'll be left to you, me, and the driver. Hmm. I'd rather like that driver. idea, Alice. Hey, don't you, Sally? I do smash yeah, it. Yeah, take you right out of yourself, and between you and me, you could do with it. Oh, thank you very much. La Belle France. Yeah, I've been there, you know, Alice, but you don't get much of an appetite for a place when you're up to your neck in the trench. But from what I hear, you can't go wrong, love. Well, I hope you're right. You'll have a lovely time, madam. Just wait and see. I suppose you wouldn't like to come, would you, Sally? I'd love to, but my boyfriend's home on leave. Mm, yes, you said. Thanks, all the same. Bill? Ah, oh, you don't want me tagging along, Ellis. And besides, when I found out you saw going away for the weekend, I asked a couple of the boys to drop round. Oh, did you? Yeah, we won't make the place up, love. Just a, a few drinks, a game of cards, and we can watch the horse racing on the telly. No, you don't want me. Lily will be company enough for you. Oh, yes, I only hope Lily hasn't gone running up and down Fuller Street telling everyone. She went out of here last night like a dog with two tails. I know what she's like. Well, what's she to be ashamed of? Oh, it's not very nice carrying on like that. Like what? Oh, stone the crows. You can't go on here and say you're going somewhere else. What's wrong with that? Oh, I don't know. Morning. You might well ask. My secretary tells me you've cancelled the arrangements again for next weekend. Please tell me I've been misinformed. Yes. But, uh, uh, No, no. Please. Here, yeah, now look, before you two get stuck into it, I walk. Oh, what's the rush? Man about a dog. Oh, you won't forget. Blue Peter, on the nose. I'm not going. But you said... No, I'm not going. Changed my mind. Again? Again. Might I ask why? I'm going away. Are you indeed? Yeah. I'd like holiday. So I'm going to take holiday. Two days, just the weekend. So I gather. Well, I can afford it. I'm not sure who you're trying to convince. I'm not trying to convince anyone. I'm glad. Oh, why should I have to convince anyone? Precisely. Well, then. Well, then, indeed. Where are you going? We haven't quite made up our minds. We? I'm going with a lady friend of mine from Fuller Street. We used to work together. Lily Bassett. Oh, yes. I remember. Here. What? She'll need a passport. Who will? Lily. She'll need a passport. She's going abroad, yes. Well, I told you we're having holiday. You said you didn't know where. No, not exactly where we don't. But you are going abroad. I told you. You really are blossoming. Well, yes. I fancy holiday abroad. <laughs> when? I will. Well, what about Lily's passport? What about it? Well, how'd she go about getting one? Usual way. Oh, yes. The first thing she'll need is a photograph. <laughs> Out of the vicar for his signature, and Bob's your uncle. I'm certified British. 
shows you what influence can do for you. Not so much influence as organization. Well, if you haven't got the influence, you can't rake in the organization, can you? <laughs> yes, but quite. Well, what do I have to do next? Money. Oh, uh, Alice is getting that change at her bank for me. I'm paying my own way, in case you're thinking. That's all, then. Yeah, what about clothes? Well, I've got my wardrobe underway, don't you worry. Well, you're not taking much, are you? Well, no, not much. No, not very much. Well, I mean, we've got to be smart, haven't we? Uh, might I suggest one tiny point for discussion? Well, go on. Shouldn't you decide where you're going? Paris! Oh, yes. Yeah, I've always wanted to see gay Paris. I thought we was going to sit on a beach somewhere. Paris is a city. City of love. Oh, I know that doesn't interest me, but I mean, if you can't taste the meat, at least you can smell the gravy. Oh, well, I thought the idea was to go where we could smell some fresh air coming off the sea. Oh, I got this parry thing stuck in the head. Oh, well, I'm for the seaside. It seems to me a compromise is called for. Let me suggest Le Touquet. Where's that? Le Touquet is a seaside resort a few hours' drive away from Paris. You can have your fresh air by day and your gravy by night, if you understand my meaning. Oh, it sounds lovely. Well, that's settled then. Shall we take the car? The, the road? Oh, we couldn't. Well, it's no trouble. It'd be ideal. There's a car air ferry direct to the 2K with the car on hand. Oh, don't. Do, don't. Oh, she's off. Oh, well, if you say so, Mr. Umter. Well, that's settled then. The car air ferry to the 2K on Friday evening. Done. Oh, if you agree, Alice. Oh, well, a broad's a broad. Will you arrange the hotel and everything for us, Mr. Umter? First thing tomorrow. Oh, well, that's that. Well, if you'll excuse me, Alice, I'll be off. I've got a few bits and bobs I've still got to do, you know, sewing and that. But we'll keep in touch, Alice. No tarts, all right. I can see myself out. Ta ta, Alice. Ta ta. Au revoir, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> this will make him sit up, eh, hey, Alice? <laughs> will it make them sit up? Oh, well, it's not what I had in mind. I'm not sure what you had in mind. A good holiday. I suppose you wouldn't like to come, would you, Mr. Hunter? Well, what's funny? I was waiting for you to ask me that. Well, I mean, why? I'd like to do it on my own. I didn't want to ask you, but I don't think I can. And I know why. Oh, why? I'll tell you later. Well, it's a funny sort of answer. Well, then let's say I prefer you to find out the answer for yourself. Well, are you coming or aren't you? Since you put it like that. I'll make a bargain with you. I'll escort you as far as the two, Kate, but from then on we go our separate ways, independently. But I'll be there if you want me. Oh, well, I would be happier if there was someone there I knew. You know Mrs. Bassett? Oh, well, you know what I mean. Can it be that you're growing dependent on me? Me? Never. Friday, then. Friday.
Okay. Good afternoon, madam. I hope we had a good journey to Thank La Touquet and much. we wish you a pleasant stay, madam. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. That bathroom, solid marble. And it's got one of them things in it. And the taps, they're just like fishes with their mouths wide open. Well, I'm not surprised in a place like this. It looks like rain to me. No, no, it won't rain. Never rains on the continent. It don't feel much like France. I mean, none of them speak the language. It's all English. Well, that's all part of the service in a place like this. Well, we don't speak foreign when they come over to us. Oh, you would expect them to speak their own language. And look how quick we got here. I mean, 20 minutes and we're in France. Why, that's quicker than a bus from the Elephant to the Oval. Don't seem right. Mercy! Satisfied? Very nice. Come and have a butcher's at our bathroom, Mr. Hunter. No, thank you. I'm sure mine's equally grotesque. Oh, but we've got a foot bath. What's the programme for this evening? Bed. Bed? I thought we was going to see the nightlife. I'm not getting about tonight. Oh, well, if it's only nine o'clock. I don't care what the time is. If you'll excuse me, ladies, I'm away. Away? We agreed, remember? Enjoy yourself. And you. Thank you. I have every intention of doing so. Bonsoir. He don't waste much time, do he? I bet he's a gay one on the quiet. Ah, oh, well, I wouldn't know, I'm sure. Oh, Alice, don't be such a wet blanket. I thought we was here to enjoy ourselves. I'll have a good time if it kills me. Is there anything else, madame? You say something, Alice? No, it's him! Him? Who? Him! Oh, him! He wants to know if we've had enough! Well, I could stay here all night, but you're beginning to look a bit tired, so perhaps we'd better go. We'll have the beer! I've just worked that bill out. Sixty francs. Why, wow, that's nearly five pounds. Oh, but you see, that first drink, that was for the entrance fee as well. He explained it to me. Oh, did he? And it did include the cabaret. Cabaret? What, that horrible din? Well, it was a group. I never saw no group. Yeah, it was two fellas and a girl. At least I think it was two fellas. Five pounds for two glasses of coloured water. Well, that's the last time I'm going to let you do the Aldrin. Well, they called it Pernod. I've read about it. Turns you blind. I'm not surprised at 50 bob a mouthful. Oh, well, perhaps we chose the wrong place. I think we did. Maybe we should have gone somewhere more select. Well, how could we when we didn't know what we was looking for? Well, I thought we was looking for a bit of fun. Well, we didn't find it, did we? Well, never mind. Live and learn. Tomorrow we'll have a nice sit on the beach. That'll perk us up. They say the wind's good for you. Well, luck and we're well wrapped up. Hey, see that line over there? That's the White Cliffs of Dover. That's not Dover. It's moving. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the smoke off that ship. <laughs> Shows you what tricks your eyes can play you. Hey, where's that Mr. Hunter gone? He left a note. He's gone out for the day. I wonder where. No idea. He took the car. That's all I know. Somebody you knew, monsieur? Knew? No. Oh, 
Oh, what's this then? Dining room not good enough? Oh, no, we like a bit of privacy. Well, it is nice and private. You do, don't you? I'll take your word for it. Hmm. Pity about the weather. Oh, I don't know. We've enjoyed ourselves, haven't we, Alice? Yes. And we've done all the shops. Oh, I've got some lovely souvenirs. They was ever so helpful about souvenirs. I want to buy one or two things for Bill and Sally. I always take them something when I've been away. Oh, it's a custom I can never understand. You go on holiday to get away from people and you spend most of your time searching for presents and writing to them. Well, it's only natural to miss your friends. Shows a certain lack of independence, don't you think? I don't care what it shows. I like doing it. Going somewhere nice tonight? The casino, I should think. Oh, the casino! Yes, I feel lucky, ladies. Hey, I feel lucky too, Alice. What about it? I don't feel lucky, not after that pearl nod, do. Oh, Alice! Sixty francs! Well, if I come, I'm not going to lose more than two bob. Well, his luck's here tonight, which is more than what ours is. Et bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. The just sont faits. Rien ne va plus. Numéro 26, Noir Empire Bon. Oh, well, I'm going to catch these in before I have to wash up the dishes. I told you, I can't wait. Right, Joe, I stand for a full house. And the first number is. Clickety-click, 66. Oh. Clear the door, 21. No. No. Downing Street, number 10. Oh. Bingo! Oh, I put mine on. Oh, oh one. Uh, <laughs> <see>? <laughs> How much did you lose? No idea. Twenty pounds. Oh, if you know, why ask? Not like you. Oh, well, I can afford it. That's not like you either. I'm all right, thank you, Mr. Hunter. Oh, no, no, you're not, Mrs. T. And what's more, you're behaving like a spoiled child. You've no right to talk to me like that. It's your friend. I've every right. Haven't I? Oh, I don't know. Everything's gone wrong. You remember telling me you wanted to make this trip on your own, but you didn't think you could? Yes, and you said you knew why. Ever since I've known you, you've been getting stuck into things that most of us would have shoved into a bottom drawer. Why? Because you believed that what you were doing was right. Your heart wasn't it. That's why you've made such a mess of this weekend. Your heart isn't here. It's, it's in a little boarding house in Margate. It was they turned up their noses, not me. And so you let yourself be talked into this little jaunt. Are you trying... You honestly say that you're enjoying yourself? Are you trying to tell me that these places aren't for the likes of me? Oh, no, that's the last thing I say. People come here or anywhere else because they want to, not to spite someone else. Isn't that really what you're doing? Oh, well, I suppose I have behaved like a sport kid. I just thought, well, I've got the money. Why shouldn't I have a little weekend abroad? Same well, as anybody else. Money doesn't come into it. I know a man is worth millions who's never happier than when he's rummaging in a junkyard looking for old door knockers. I also know one of our clerks who saves every penny he can get to go for a holiday abroad. He's been most of the fashionable resorts in the world. But because he wants to, not to prove anything to anybody. Oh, well, I suppose I'm just as bad as Gladys with her cocktail cabinet. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Why does everybody look so miserable? There's a lot of money at stake. Money? It has its uses. Oh, I should say so. In fact, I could tell you a good use for it now. Mrs. T, I'm about to suggest an extravagance, but one I think you'll like. Well, go on. I suggest you hire an aeroplane. Wherever to? To market. Or as near as damn it. Oh, oh, I was going to buy you a stick of rock, but you can buy it yourself now. Oh, yeah. You give 
can afford it. <laughs> I like that. If you're so much against money, what do you want to do the pools every week? Oh, 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 o